da 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 our make video special, Sylvie so Super Awesome Mini Maker Show, episode 4. On this episode, we'll teach you how to clone your own toys with simple molding and casting for toy duplication. Let's go! For this build, we will be using some toys to be copied, pliable molding material, we're using composite mold because it's easy and reusable. Disposable cups or mixing containers big enough to fit your toys. Casting material. We'll be using polyester resin for fiberglassing from the hardware store. A small spray bottle with a mild solution of white PVA glue and water to prevent bubbles. And finally, some mold release. We're using non-stick cooking spray. Not every toy can be duplicated easily. Toys with big holes, hook shapes, or moving parts won't come out of your mold properly. And toys that don't have a good way to pour in your casting material just won't work at all without adding sprues or making multiple molds. It helps to think about your toy as a funny shaped pipe or balloon. Once the composite mold has been poured and your toy removed, you'll have to use one of its outer edges as a hole to fill up every part of it quickly during casting. Also, without a way for the air to escape during molding or casting, you'll be left with problem-causing air bubbles. And without good shapes or entry points, duplicating your toy gets a lot trickier. This doll's legs are too small to pour into. This toy lantern would end up locked in the mold because of the big hole in the middle. Our pointer finger copied great because it doesn't have any hooks or voids and has a handle we used as a pipe to pour into after molding. If the toe you picked out is plastic, there's a good chance it will float in the molding material, so you need to hot glue it to the bottom of your container. Make sure it doesn't touch the sides. One last step before pouring. Spray the glue and water mixture on your toy, rub it in, then pat it dry. Now we heat our composite mold until it's nice and smooth, and carefully pour it into the cup. Drizzle your molding material carefully and slowly around your toy, making sure to let every crevice fill evenly without bubbles. Once you're done, Set your molds in a safe place to cool, or the freezer if you're impatient. When your mold has cooled, remove the cup and carefully cut down the side of the mold from the base to make your parting look. Don't go all the way, we just need to remove the toy, then put the mold back together to make our casting. Now add a little cooking spray inside of the mold with a cloth or cotton swab to ensure the cast won't stick. Then close it back up with a little tape to keep it from leaking. Now we're ready to mix our casting material, but how much do we need? Take a measuring cup and fill it to a known measure line. Then take your toy and completely submerge it. The amount of changes the volume of your toy. Fill a disposable cup with this amount of water, plus a little more for drips and mess ups, then mark the line. A perfect measure means no waste. Now we head out to a well-ventilated area to mix our casting material. After filling the cup, carefully mix in the right amount of hardener, then slowly drizzle it into your mold. After pouring, be sure and squeeze or bump the mold a little to make sure no bubbles are caught. Let this cure for a few hours, and when you come back, you just might have your very own toy clone! Molding and casting can be pretty complicated. In the words of my favorite mold maker and Mythbuster, Adam Savage, failure is always an option. The thin walls of our bumblebee mold melted from the exothermic reaction of the resin hardening. Luckily, not before the composite mold did its job. Bubbles and bad pores are most common, and will get easier to avoid with practice. Now that it's done, you can sand or paint your resin or reuse your molds and try other casting compounds like plaster or even concrete. The world is yours to clone. That's all we can fit in today's show. Remember to experiment, stay safe, and get out there and make something. It's good.